Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Dollar Tree haul. Um, a few things I've been meaning to pick up. A few things that I needed and a few things I didn't expect to get. So, one of the channels I watch, uh, he does a lot of toys and rubber band powered things and, um, stuff with propellers and I knew that they had these at the Dollar Tree these are just the propellers with uh, little shafts on them one of the projects that's you know one of the hundreds that are running around in my head to do with one of the grand brats is a couple of things with these these propellers so I have them now if I actually get to do the project oh <laughs> uh, let's see I don't know if I've shown you around in my yard lately or not, but I have always put these giant insects, and these actually aren't all that giant. I've got a bee, or had a bee, at the house that was probably that big. He was about 10 inches long. So, but yeah, this this guy's going to go uh, hang him somewhere in the in the trees. This chameleon fella will probably end up somewhere here in the truck. The grasshopper. I think he needs a little bit of coloring. He's just all green. Uh, most of the ones we have around here have a lot of brown in them. So I may just go ahead and touch this one up a little bit. And again, that'll go out in one of the planters. Just because... Dory Glow Decals. I'm thinking these may work pretty well at night when we're out camping. And we're headed out camping this weekend. So I'm going to let them charge in the, in the sunlight. Now I picked this up. Fire Roasted Jalapeno Salsa. I hadn't seen it before. I don't know if it's something new that they have there or what, or it just happened to catch my eye today. But there's that. And when I had picked up the Grand Brats earlier, uh, I've had the little with me. We stopped at BK and got some uh, chicken chunks, nuggets, whatever the heck they are. And he didn't eat them all. So I'm going to go ahead and put those nuggets in this with a little bit and, and like, you know, heat it up a little bit, maybe some peppers and onions and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, just see what happens. So I think, I think that'll turn out to be pretty tasty. Oh, funnels. I don't know what happened to my funnels. Um, and probably as soon as I get home, I'll find them. Isn't that the way it always goes? But I've been making a ginger, an, inf an infused water with ginger. Just uh, taking grated ginger and putting it in a bottle of water and letting it soak. And uh, I've been drinking that instead of ginger ale. <sighs> I'm not crazy about water. The ginger gives it a fairly, a pretty good taste to it. It's not it's not spicy spicy, but I definitely get the ginger flavor. Anyway, in order to strain it, I needed a, a funnel that fits into the two liter bottle. Uh, I also needed my hash makings. Um, Depending on what they have, right now they have Easter colored uh, M&Ms as well that are just plain milk chocolate. It doesn't matter. Um, I just grab what I'm going going to grab, you know. But uh, it's the, the regular milk chocolate type, peanut butter, and then the crispy. And at home, I have a package of honey roasted oats, honey roasted Cheerios. 
something like that. Anyway, they're Cheerios with a little bit of honey coating on them. And I mixed those in with this. And it's about 50-50 cereal to uh, candy. It's good. Hand soap for the bathroom. And then... I've mentioned it like I mentioned we're going camping this weekend um, but this is good to have just in case anyway I have I have two rolls of paper in a in the small plastic uh, coffee jugs one roll of, of tissue fits in that jug with no problem um, and it, it's, you know, it stays fairly dry and, and safe and whatnot, and it's always back there. The problem is, it's not real convenient. I was talking to a friend on Instagram, and he carries this when he's out camping. He goes, he goes out camping in, um, like, like boondocking in, in BLM land, where there's, there's nothing, nothing, nothing around. So he carries a roll or a package of this and a small shovel. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I figured I would grab these and have them in the, in the vehicle. Uh, maybe in one or two of my bags or whatever. And, um, yeah, so, and you, you never know when you get to these campsites, you know, what type of paper they're going to have in there. Maybe it's not going to be real comfortable. Maybe they're not going to have any. And if you got one of these in your in your uh, go bag, then uh, you, it's better safe to be sorry than sorry, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, there's now uh, that, 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 uh, there's that. All right. So there we go. It's just a quickie. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. Oh, excuse me. If you like to share me around on your social media, that'd be Fandoculus. If you want to check me out on Facebook or Instagram, I'll have some links in the description box along with other uh, links to other uh, similar videos and whatnot. And, uh, man, the rain's coming down. I'm going to run into Goodwill. I've been going to the YMCA here lately, and I need a a gym bag, basically. I, everything I got are backpacks or messenger bags or, or whatever, and you can't fit fat man clothes in those type bags. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I'm going to run in here and see what they got, and maybe, I don't know, I'll end up doing a not today or something, but it means i got to brave this rain. You all hear it? Yeah. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. So I'll see you all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slaunchy, y'all. Uh, Bye-bye.